Welcome back. It is time for Good News Friday. Every year, NORAD uses all of its super secret intel and manpower to track Santa's whereabouts on Christmas Eve. Now, it's brought joy to generations of kids, but believe it or not, this beloved 68-year-old tradition, it all started by accident. Here's Lindsey Gruy. It was the middle of the Cold War. Tensions between the U.S. and Russia were high. Inside what was then known as the Continental Air Defense Command was a top secret phone line in case of an incoming attack. And on Christmas Eve, 1955, it rang. But when U.S. Air Force Colonel Harry Schaup picked up that phone, fearing the worst, it was not a warning of Russian missiles. It was a different red concern. It was a tiny voice on the other end asking, is this Santa Claus? And for a moment, both ends of the phone were confused. The colonel demanded to know who this was, while the little voice, realizing this wasn't Santa, asked the colonel if he was one of the elves. Eight, seven, seven. How on earth had a child gotten a highly classified number? There was a misprint in the local newspaper. The phone number was off by a single digit. So instead of calling the North Pole, the ad was telling kids to call what we now know as NORAD. And it caused a bunch of kids to call our, our uh, operations center and start asking where Santa was. And that could have been the end of it. But instead, as the phone rang off the hook, the colonel decided to play along. Not the wibbly present. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, doing the whole, I think you've got a wrong number, they employed the use of all of, the, all of their means and figured out where Santa was and started talking to these kids. And just like that, Thanks to a typo, a wrong number, and a kindly Air Force Colonel, a beloved Christmas tradition was born. And what would the Colonel think 68 years after that first phone call? He'd be thrilled at all the joy that we bring to the kids across the world every year. For Good News Friday, I'm Lindsay Gruy, KKTV 11 News.